Hey Sans, and welcome to the Nappa Gauntlet. So pretty much he requested that Nappa fight against all his teammates and see how he does. Good luck Nappa. So to begin he has to go against Raditz. So we have Nappa, hold on, Nappa with Dendy's Healing, Defense plus 3, Attack minus 1, Latent Energy Light Body Series with Yajirobe AI versus Raditz with Attack plus 1, Serious Quick Fast Attack, Dendy's Healing, and Launch Support with Trunk That. Hmm. Hmm, that, lot, that build seems familiar. Sounds like a, a particular build that I said in the previous video. <laughs> All right, and transformations are on. So, it's to make shit harder for Nappa, go ahead and have his opponents transform into a giant ape and then have him get the crap smacked out of him. So, Nappa, let's see how you do against your teammates. So, he has to face down Raditz, Turles, and King Vegeta. Oh, God. And this is uh, going to be a major defi deciding factor on whether he gets to stay on the team, of course. So, so far, he's doing pretty well. Uh, melee combo... He's, the melee combo is impressive. The damage really isn't. Volcanic Explosion connects on Raditz for 7k points of damage. So, for, so, so who, who is it between right now? Is it between the three opponents he's going against? Is it really, is it really between Raditz, uh, Torless, and King Vegeta? Really, King Vegeta? Hmm. Top class warrior. Connect for only 5k because that defense plus three, and now the latent energy. So now it's 3.5. Oh, that defense too strong. Look at that charge rate. Look at Radis's charge rate. Here's a present. Look at that charge rate. That key plus one really does go far. That's that's really good. Top class warrior. We got a clash. Top class warrior connect. Another build that I can go ahead and, and uh, change that I can go ahead and suggest for Raditz for you guys is uh, you know if you really don't think that Dende's healing is completely necessary and depending on your matchup, you can always take off Dende's healing and put um, a power of rage. So you know he can start winning some struggles. I mean he does have a B1 that is a rush so. Is more likely he'll get in the clashes, so you know, might want to make him, or at least help him win. All right, Zen Solo connects. Blazing Storm connects for 8.5k points of damage. That's a pretty good B2. Just hit. Too bad it costs like four bars of key. If you get, if you can get him to spam that move, then you might have something with Nappa. Well, Nappa's B2s aren't terrible. I'd say they're actually some of the better B2s of the team, you know, if you wanted to make a, if you can get Raditz to be like a spammer, only connects for 5k, then he has so much defense, he has like what, 4 defense right now? No, like 4.5, yeah, 4.5 defense, too strong, Sensor connects, it's a close, it's a close one, who wants it? Full power. That was both of my X power, actually. Who wants it? No, I thought Nappa was going to do some ping pong action for the win. Actually, maybe he is. Nappa wins! Barely. Barely pulled it out, but Nappa wins. Ooh. Nappa talking about that good shit. He's like, ha, huh, you really think you could take me off the team? I am freaking Nappa. Alright? <laughs> And even if you kill me, I will come back as a ghost and haunt you. <laughs> uh, Team Four Star. <laughs> Blazing Storm. Connects. Kind of look like it maybe it didn't. I don't know. That move just looks like it just hits all the time. That's what I'm saying. If you can get him to do that move. And the other one's not too terrible. It's definitely unique B2. Both of them at max power. We got a clash. Raditz wins. Top class warrior. This is Nappa th th throws a max powered little blazing storm at the end. Impressive. Will we see a Kappa? Will he do anything with his max power? No. Well, I guess he can go right back up to max power. It has a good charge rate. You know. Kappa ultimate. Pow! Ooh, Raditz got out of the way. Nice dodge, Raditz. That's another reason. Yeah, I, I can I can definitely see uh Oh, top class warrior. 
No, I can definitely see Nappa as a, as a as a as a B two character, a spammer. Probably not a B two character, but I can see him as a spammer. You know, his charge rate, his base charge rate's pretty good. His uh, his B twos aren't terrible. I guess I can see it. His ultimate, it's just a generic ultimate, so it's not too terrible. It's not like it's a suicide ultimate. Kappa. This time, it connects for 14,000 points of damage. Even with the charge, look, even with the charge penalty. Ooh, be gone. Counter ultimate, but Nappa dodges it. He's like, no, 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 no. See, even with the charge penalty, the charge rate was actually pretty good. So what were his, what were his B1s again? His B1s were... Sand Soul, and what was the other one? I really can't remember. Hold on, hold on. Pump up. Sounds some pump up. Alright, continue. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Blazing Storm connects, and Nappa wins. This time, with three bars of health. Alright, Nappa won round one of the gauntlet. Let's see if he can beat Turles next. Alright, round two of the Nappa gauntlet. You got Nap same build, Dende's healing, attack plus in mean, defense plus three, attack minus one, latent energy, light body, and serious on Yadrobi AI versus Turles with Is that right? Looks right. Yeah, I think it's right. Yeah, that's right. Attack up two, defense minus one, serious, Dende's healing, light body and launch support on Cell AI. It looks kinda wrong because I just it looks so similar to the to the to the uh, to the Raditz belt that I thought I might have messed up, but no, no, I think that was right. I think that's correct. So can Nappa win a round two of the Gauntlet? That'd be funny if he actually takes out all three of them and just like, yeah, you're not taking me off the team. I'm a Nappa. I'm a Pokemon. <laughs> Although with Turles with the, uh, the attack plus two, I mean, it'll be dishing out some major damage, some melee combos. I mean. It's pretty much that attack plus two versus the defense three. So but we also got to take into consideration Turles' fruit addiction. And I believe since transformations are on, Turles is one of them characters that can just throw the uh, his own moon. So it'd be it'd be good if Nappa can get a gap big enough between him and Turles that oh the barrage connects before the volcanic explosion can go off. Uh, Look at look at look at look how good launch support is. Like look at that charge rate for Turles. Beautiful. Beautiful. What was I saying? Oh, he might wanna, you know, get some gap between him and Turles' HP as soon as possible, so when he goes against that ape, he'll be ready for it. Right now he's losing, but he might be able to pull it out. Barrage! About a, about half a bar behind. Now about a bar behind. Because Turles got that good melee combo for a half a bar of damage despite the defense plus three and the latent energy. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not seeing it, Nap. I'm not seeing you beating Turles. Turles at max power. Nappa at max power. The fruit addiction. Raj misses. Kappa misses. <laughs> I don't even have to see how I, that was clear that he was gonna miss that. Pretty good melee combo from Nappa. I'm getting. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna get it confused because his name is Nappa and his special is Kappa, and uh, I'm probably gonna call him Kappa. Rajway misses. Got a high speed clash. Throw a swins. Throw a slap max power. Come on, Nappa, you can do it. You can defeat the gauntlet. Oh, Turles. Counter from Nappa. Come on, Nappa. Don't let Turles beat you. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> You tried your best. 
You got him down to about one bar of health. All right, round two. You can bring it back. You you can you can get you can two one. You can still two one. You can do this. The gauntlet ain't over yet, Nappa. So I want is everybody on the chopping block or is it or is it just Nappa? Cause the I'd say that the one person you should probably take off the team is Turtleus, but I don't know. Are you just keeping him just because of the ape transformation? So it sure seems like, cause I mean, I mean he's fairly impressive right now, but he's do, he ain't doing nothing that Raditz can't do with the right build and AI. Kill Driver connects or 5.5 K points of damage. Nappa going up to max power. Tarlos at full power. Gappa ultimate connects. Almost 15k points of damage. And he's brought this back to an even fight. Good job, Nappa. Full power energy, Raj Wave. Name's way too long. A grab from Nappa. Really no follow up. Tolis tries to get his fruit addiction on. And he gets punched. He gets the fruit slapped right out of his hand. Nappa looked like he tried to jump back and do a B2, but Tolis stopped him, but then Nappa blocked. Oh, Blazing Storm! Connects! Oh god, and Tolis was like, nuh uh, nuh uh. I may be almost be done, but let me show you. When I go ape. You you want a transformation on, transformation are on. Turtles isn't that really big, isn't it? Turtles at max power, volcanic explosion! And it's over. The freaking eight buddy was too big. Couldn't even gather the volcanic explosion. Nappa wins round two. All right. Can he bring it? Can Nappa bring it to round three? I really, I really do hope Nappa wins all these fights. So you have to keep him on the team. <laughs> Ooh, that melee combo from Nappa. Very impressive. We got a high speed clash. Turtle swims. Turtle is charging with that freaking launch support. It's just so good. He scales back to full power so fast. You, you got to utilize that 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 launch support. It's like pretty much saying like, hey, put on key plus one on top of your blue patara. Just beautiful at the cost of two points. Like I I, I do it. Awesome. Wow, he threw and actually got the fruit addiction off. He actually just didn't eat it right in front of Nappa, he actually used it wisely. Now Tarlis is bringing it to Nappa. Nappa is almost two bars down. Tarlis is stepping up his game this round. That line support combined with the fruit is pretty good. Blazing Storm connects! For 8.6k points of damage. I mean, Nappa, I'm, I don't blame you. If you want to stand back and spam, go right ahead. Volcanic Explosion. Raditz, I mean, Turles. Usually Raditz is the one that derps out. Turles goes right back into the attack. Barrage. Nappa takes them on the chin, but he ain't done. High Speed Clash. Nappa wins it this time. And he's almost brought this back to an even fight. So can he can he win round two? Can he win round two of the Napa Gauntlet? Both of them charging. Both of them going to max power. Sand Soul connects. And now looks like Turles grabbed Napa first. It ate his fruit. Should be nice and good. Oh, and dodges the ultimate. Meteor Burst Ultimate from Turles, and I think it's over. I think it's over. I think Turles won. It was close, Nappa. No! Turles wins round two. Ooh, caught his fellow Santa. Low life scum. All right. Well, final round of the Gauntlet versus King Vegeta. Bear back. All right, back with some more. Napa Gauntlet. 
So, once again, we got Nappa here with Dende's Healing, Defense plus 3, Attack minus 1, Latent Energy, Light Body, Serious with Yajirobe AI, versus the King himself. King Vegeta with Eternal Life, Key plus 1, Fighting Spirit, Ignition with Piccolo AI. Can you take out... Can you get best 2 out of 3 uh, as a gauntlet? You, know, you were close, you were close to beating Turles. You know, if your ultimate would have connected, then you probably would have won, but he just happened to dodge it. Alright, King Virginia's beginning already. Eating some spamios already, huh? King Vegeta has shown him who's boss, but Nappa's behind him. And beautiful melee combo. And ending it with a blazing storm for 10k points of damage combo. That was pretty impressive. That was pretty impressive, Nappa. Probably wasn't the most damaging. Volley from King Vegeta. Pump up from Nappa. King Vegeta getting hit. Smack down on Nappa charging. Volcanic okay, explosion kinda connects. No, I, I'd say I'd say he he got out of it. Kinda kinda tasted it, but he he mostly got out of it. Coming back, volley again. What was King Vegeta's build again? I forgot already. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. It was key plus one. You're telling me he has key plus one and his charge rate is that bad? I, I never knew. King Vegeta's charge rate... Not that good. In comparison. Okay, well that was pretty good. Blazing Storm. Oh, but he just reached max power. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? Let me see the charge rate again. I might have to see it from the beginning. Maybe he just wasn't charging up enough. I don't know. It looked kind of crappy, but it, it might it might have been fine. And King Vegeta just giving it, giving it to Nappa. All right, he has the volcanic explosion. Connects. It's fighting spirit and ignite nation. The build that uh, that King Vegeta has, I, I can actually see that on Nappa. You know, Eternal Life, the Key Plus One, the 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 launch support. I mean, not the launch support, the Fighting Spirit and the Ignoration. I can see that on Nappa. You know, you're putting a, a more of a B2 build on a guy who has a volley attack. Like volley attacks are like one of the shittiest moves in the game. That's just my personal opinion. And another volley attack. And, and Nappa's barely hanging on. Blazing Storm connects for 8.5k points of damage. Nappa trying to stay trying to stay in, but I think King Vegeta's got this. I think he might have this. Yep, it's over. King Vegeta wins round one. Alright, let's go ahead and go to round two. You know, maybe consider that. Maybe Eternal Life, the Key Plus One, Fighting Spirit Ignition on Nappa. Find the right AI to make him do some more B2s and you might have it. We toss a Frieza, maybe a Vegeta, Krillin, Tien, uh, maybe. Sounds interesting to me. You know, it's always good to have other builds besides just your main one. You know, trip out your opponents. The reason why the Super Saiyans did so well. Because they just had different builds and everybody used different builds. Volley connects. You know, just some people are just naturally good at things and better than others. You know, not all characters are built the same. And I really don't see... Never mind, his charge rate's good. His charge rate is good. I don't know why I said it was bad. I don't know what the hell I was thinking at, looking at. Uh, you know, definitely don't see like Nappa being like a melee build, you know. His, his hits are like slow and methodical, you know. 
generally when you want a uh, a good melee fighter, you want a quick, fast hitter. You know, like Norm, like Fasha. Blazing Storm connects, 8.5k. I mean, I guess that could be said, except for, I think the only argument that wasn't that was uh, the Doria, but I'm not sure if someone else in Team Derp could have done better. I know nothing about Team Derp, really. I don't even know who they're replacing with, uh, with Raditz. But didn't they have, wasn't it this season? Five, season 5 that they had Raditz? I don't remember. I don't remember. So I'd say get a quick, fast fighter. So I'd probably say a good melee would probably be like Turles or Raditz. That's, who, that would be a good melee. Maybe even both of them. You know, if we don't decide to go with a uh, volcanic explosion, if you don't decide to go with uh, with Nappa, you can go like one go like a power body build, and then the other one go like eternal life build. So one can be like attack plus two, defense minus one, serious quick fast attack, and eternal life, and the other one could be attack plus one, quick fast attack, serious, and power body. There you go, those are your two meleeers. And you got your two B-Tours, which are clearly, uh, Vegeta and, uh, and Bardock. And then I guess King Vegeta or Nappa would be the last character. Actually, you know what? Actually, change that one of the melee characters that had internal life. Take eternal life off, put Dende's healing and launch support. And then for whoever is left between Nappa or King Vegeta, you give them the current build of the Eternal Life, the Key Plus One, the Fighting Spirit, and the Ignition. Actually, no, you can't do that because your B2ers might be using that. Depends on what your B2ers are. Uh, pretty much, I just built your entire team for the playoffs. Come on. But, uh, looks like Nappa won't even make it to round two. Looks like King Vegeta is completely transformed. Sorry I wasn't really commentating what's going on, but I, I kind of got in the, the mojo of helping you guys with your build, so. You know, take my ideas or don't. It's up to you. <laughs> but looks like uh, Nappa only beat one out of the three. Oh well, poor Nappa. The that that freaking Dende's healing is keeping him alive. Like if he can actually beat this, if he can actually beat this, I would be so shocked. Nope, nope. It was close, but no. All right, so. I hope this test, these tests, this, this Napa Gauntlet was helpful in determining whether you want to keep them on the team or not. But if you want to take any of those uh, suggestion uh, builds that I said to heart and you know help build your character, then go right ahead. I totally don't mind. So thank you for supporting me as your tester, and I am looking forward to doing some more tests for you guys. Thanks for watching.